A warning tonight from Florida health officials after a flesh eating bacteria has killed four people in the state, including one in St. Johns County. The bacteria Vibrio bonificus lives in warm, salty water. It can enter your body through open cuts or by eating raw shellfish. Our Christina Burgess joins us live outside Baptist Medical Center downtown. And Christina, I know you've been speaking with an infectious disease doctor about the warning signs and what we can do to stay safe. Yeah, Heather, so far there has been 11 cases reported right here in the state of Florida. I had the chance to speak with Baptist Health's medical D director over infectious diseases about who is most at risk and why they're urging caution, especially during hurricane season. It thrives in warm, salty, brackish water. Vibrio vulnificus, a flesh-eating bacteria that can turn a beach day into a medical emergency. Baptist Health's medical director for infectious disease, Dr. Shalika Katugaha, talks about the ways you can contract the infection that's rare, but when it strikes, can be serious. People generally can get this by swallowing Vibrio or by getting it exposed to an open wound. If you ingested Fibrio from eating a raw shellfish, your symptoms can be nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea. If you have wound exposure, you can notice redness, swelling, or blistering at the site. According to the CDC, Vibrio vulnificus infects about 80,000 people each year in the U.S. and kills around 100. In 2024, Florida had 82 cases and 19 deaths reported, many in October following flooding from Hurricane Milton and Helene. This year, 11 cases have been reported with four deaths, one in St. John's County. If detected early, doctors can treat it with antibiotics, but if you are a part of an at-risk population or immunocompromised, you're at risk of a more serious form, which is why doctors say prevention is key. If you have an open wound, you should stay out of salt water or brackish water, and that includes waiting on the beach. Then again, if you're at increased risk and you have to be in water, wear protective clothes and shoes. And again, Vibrio vulnificus infections are rare, but if you are noticing any symptoms, it's important to seek medical care soon because early treatment can save your life. Reporting live in downtown Jacksonville, Christina Burgess, First Coast News on your side.